This is where the ancient cities and medieval civilizations emerged and disappeared. This is the cradle of great ideas, a place where science and arts prospered, the crossroads of trade and the boldest ideas. What is Central Asia like today? What do the countries in the region have in common? What is the cultural and genetic code of the peoples living in this part of the world? Stay tuned with Central Asian Guide to find out. Steph Borzo of Central Asia. Gold medalist at fifth Asian Games. Kazakhstan Barisi, first champion. Borzoi are hunting dogs. Arabia is considered as the homeland of the Borzoi dogs. Traveling with ancient traders and soldiers through Iran and Afghanistan, they got to the Caucasus and the Caspian steppes. Rock images of the ancestors of modern Borzoi are found on a vast territory, including the southern Kazakhstan. Their age, according to various estimates, ranges from 4 to 9,000 years. Horse hunting with Borzoi, along with hunting with birds, was widely practiced in Arab and Asian rulers. Here are two varieties of the steppe Borzoi, the Kazakh, the bigger one, and the Turkmen, the shorter and with smaller weight. The Kazakh breed of Borzoi is called Tazi. Taigan is a breed of greyhounds which was formed in the unique conditions of the mountains of Kyrgyzstan. He looks like a Kazakh Tazi, but it has a stronger body type and a massive skeleton. A pair of strong Taigans can even confront a wolf. This is my Taigan, Akbar. At the World Games of the Nomads, he achieved a great success. He's one of the best Taigan studs in the country. Now he's five years old. We are preparing to hunt and will return with success. God bless. Saddle up, Jigits. Release the Taigans. Here are our thoroughbred Taigans. Jigits, let's ask for blessings so we will have success. Come on, Baike, say something. Amen. God bless you to return with a catch. Come on, Jigits, let's go. This is the sunny side. There is a canyon nearby. We will go hunting there. Come on. Almazu Mateyev is a lawyer by profession, but his whole life he was attracted by the ancient hunting tradition of Kyrgyz, and several years ago he started breeding taigans. Today he went hunting for foxes with his friends, but a local resident came up and asked for help. It turns out that a flock of gray predators is raging in the area. Recently, it attacked the sheep flocks of several villages. Have they sneaked into the barn? How many sheep did they kill? A lot? Six sheep. Here we met people. It turns out that two days ago, wolves were here. They ate six sheep of a man named Kamchibek. Let's check this area. As the Kyrgyz say, successful jiggits gets less fortunate catch. Let's try our luck. Let's go together. Chingas go through this gorge, bullet bike and you along that path. I'm going straight ahead. Let's go. By this time, the snow had already fallen in the Kazakh steppe. The hereditary Tazi whipper in Amanat Tokabayev is also going to hunt with the Borzoi, representatives of the famous breed of the Tazi. In addition to breeding dogs, he participates in competitions on the Kazakh traditional sport on horses, Kokpar. Kiran, come here. Good boy. This Tazi dog won the nomination Best of Breed in 2015. 
Wow. His name is Lashim. And this is Kiran. He was recognized as the best dog of 2016. Both dogs are now considered number one in Kazakhstan. Our dogs already feel that we're gone on a hunt. This is the American Quarter Horse. In Kazakhstan, there are very few representatives of this breed. Our ancestors used to breed Tazi dogs. Now we continue the tradition of our ancestors. From ancient times, Tazi were considered one of the seven treasures of Kazakhs. They are very hardy and faithful. My grandfather was breeding this dog too, and great-grandfather too, and an older brother. Now I continue the glorious tradition. By the way, during the great famine, one Borzoi dog was able to save the whole village. During the hunt, Borzoi can travel long distances while running as fast as 65 kilometers per hour. My brother presented me Tazi when I was barely five years old. At seven, I already learned to ride horses. Since then, I have been breeding Borzoi. Now I'm 32. I'm a member of Kokpar Astana Club. I hope that today we will be returning home, not empty-handed. Are you ready? Let's go! Guys, where shall we go? I think we should try our luck in that direction. Something tells me that hares can hide there. Tazi is the most famous breed of steppe dogs. Scientists suggest that it exists since the Saka times, if not earlier. Among the ancient petroglyphs found on the territory of Kazakhstan, there are also images of a Tazi carved in stones. In Central Asia, there are several species of Borzoi, but they are all considered subspecies of one breed. Kazakhs divide them into steppe and mountainous. The Kyrgyz breed, of course, is closer to the mountain Borzoi. Turkmen and Afghans also bred their own subspecies of these famous dogs. The Kazakhs have also appreciated Tazi very highly. This is stated in the medieval code of laws, Jeti Jargi. Local scientist Ahmed Toktabayev mentions an interesting rite, according to which one of the earliest rites of initiation of a child was made with the puppy of the Tazi. Both hunters with Borzo, Kazakh and Kyrgyz state that both the Tazi and the Taigans are very similar in appearance and in character. Simply, the Tazi are more adapted to hunt in the steppe and the Taigan to hunt in the mountains. From the ancient time, Taigans were with our ancestors. They are real friends and support. They often saved our people from starvation. Taigans helped to graze cattle, repelled wild animals, guarded the peace of the owners. They are very hardy and not afraid of the cold. Almost four and a half thousand meters above sea level is a natural habitat for them.
You go with them and see how the Taigan, with his head up, following the smell, is chasing after the catch. When the dense thickets appear on the way of the Taigan, he has his own method of overcoming the obstacle. He pushes upwards with all four paws, jumps up and down, looking for prey, and after landing, continues chasing. After a while again, bounces, and so on, until he reaches the goal. Kyrgyz Taigans and Kazakh Tazi are very similar to each other. Taigans perfectly orient and feel great in mountainous conditions. Tazi are unmatched hunters in their familiar surroundings, on the plain. The Kazakh Borzoi have practically no wool, they are higher than the Kyrgyz dogs. And the Taigans run along the slopes of the mountains just as along the plain. Just as along the plain. Climbing high, they can get even a mountain deer, roe deer, or a forest trot. Just like Kazakhs and Kyrgyz are close to each other, Tazi and Taigan are similar to each other. Due to the natural conditions of the mountainous terrain, the Kyrgyz Borzoi has a longer and thicker coat, and the Kazakh Tazi has almost no wool. The difference between the dogs of two peoples is only that, is only this. If we talk about the Kyrgyz Taigans, they are well adapted specifically to the mountainous terrain. And our Tazi are adapted to the steppe conditions. They are fast-footed and very dexterous. Of course, there is much in common between the Tazi and the Taigans. After all, we are fraternal countries, fraternal peoples. We have a lot in common. But nevertheless, there are also noticeable differences. For example, Tazi have a smaller head, but they have long claws, and the Taigans have short cat like claws. Today we were on the hunt, we chased the fox, but because of the wrong tactics, the two foxes managed to escape the chase. We had to approach them from different directions and drive in such a way where they could be surrounded. But, unfortunately, animals were able to deceive the dogs. Tomorrow we will go hunting again in the same area where we were today. I hope tomorrow we will definitely be lucky. Look, the hair. Here's our catch. My borzoi caught a hair. She did not let him escape even 200 meters. Excellent hunting. Congratulations. With Tazi dogs in the steppes of Sariarka, you can hunt not only for hares, but also for badgers. Corsacs and foxes. We return home from the hunt. The main thing is not empty handed. I hope our dogs could show their skills. Today we will be satisfied with the small catch. Good morning, I'm Mary Mamunova. I'm an athlete, and every morning starts with training.
The Kyrgyz wrestler Mary Mamunova became the gold medalist of the 5th Asian Games of 2017 in the category Polish Wrestling. This kind of Kyrgyz wrestling is known from ancient times. It got second breath in the last 16 years. Mariam started out as a judo wrestler, but she managed to achieve real success in the Alish wrestling. I'm from the village of Arkali, but we went for training to the neighboring village Baitik. As they say, the world begins with the village, so I began to practice judo in the village. The hall where the roof leaked was very small, uncomfortable. I remember the tatami was with holes. But even this did not scare me away. I liked the sport and that's why I stayed. I began training. My very first victory was probably the most vivid and desired victory, the memory of which will remain for a lifetime. I will not hide, and then and now I felt very proud for that victory. It was a championship in the Kyrgyz Republic where I won the gold medal. My family and friends rejoiced and shared my happiness, supporting me with warm words. Therefore, for me, my very first medal was and will remain the most memorable and exciting victory. Thinking about the recent victory at the Asian Games in the capital of Turkmenistan, Meryem still cannot believe her success. To be honest, when after the finale I walked along the corridor, I could not fully realize that I, a simple Kyrgyz girl, became the champion of the Asian Games. I looked at my coach and saw her tears. It was the moment when I realized that I had won. I probably do not know how to express my emotions. I saw other winners rejoice. And even after winning gold, I modestly went out of the hall, where athletes were solemnly awarded. Only then, when I stood on the pedestal and the anthem of the Kyrgyz Republic played in my honor, I finally had a great feeling of gratitude and happiness. The morning training is over. I have several meetings ahead. Today I will have lunch with my coach. How are you? Good. And how are you? This is my favorite mentor, honored coach of the Kyrgyz Republic for the Alish wrestling, Kabil Borubayev. We will have two portions of Monty's and black tea. Alish wrestling has always been in high respect among the Kyrgyz. Thus wrestling is extremely popular among the people today as well. Large competitions can collect up to 60,000 spectators. Alish significantly differs from other types of wrestling. This is a wrestling where the belt is used, which at the very beginning of the fight the opponents hold. Each of the athletes take the belt of opponent. They should not let go their hands of each other. Alish wrestling is interesting to many people. Its peculiarity is also that it is easy to understand for absolutely everyone. The rules are clear even for those who see the duel of athletes for the first time. Kazakh wrestling is also very clear to ordinary viewers. Probably the fact that the state pays serious attention to the sport and supports it in every possible way played its role here. From the outside it is especially noticeable. In my personal opinion, the Kazakh wrestling is much, much more interesting than Sambo. Earlier, Mary Mamunova was a judoka. 
When I was appointed as a head coach of the Republic for Alish Wrestling, I immediately noticed Mary and brought her into Alish. Mamunova's main feature is that she learns everything very quickly. We have the greatest and brightest hopes for her. I hope that Mariam will become an Olympic champion. We just have to work on ourselves and achieve our goals. A Kyrgyz wrestler also respects Kazakh national wrestling, Kazakh Kurese. Kyrgyzstan even has a federation for the sport and competitions are held regularly. With Kazakhs, we have been closely cooperating for the past seven to eight years. Together, we participate in sports competitions and games. And for so long, I'm personally engaged in the Kazakh wrestling. For the first time, I tried myself in the sport at the Asian Championships, which was held in Semei. There, I won the second place and then realized that I really like Kazakh wrestling. The Kazakh wrestling has a bright future. I hope that this fascinating kind of wrestling will soon be included in the program of the Olympic Games. In 2016, UNESCO included the Kazakh national sport into the list of the intangible cultural heritage. This decision was stimulated by the revival of interest in the people's wrestling. Today, competitions for Kazakh wrestling are held not only in the Republic, but also in various countries. Ulan Riskol is one of the most famous Kazakh wrestlers. After international successes in the field of judo, he switched to Kazakh wrestling and in 2011 became the first champion of the country in the national tournament Kazakhstan, Barisi. Hello, Dania. How are you? Good. How about you? Good. Since now I work at the International Federation of Kazakh Wrestling, there is a lot of work because we cooperate with different countries. We hold big competitions. Sincere followers help the revival of domestic sports. For example, Arman Shuraev. For more than seven years, he has been engaged in the development of the Kazakh wrestling, trying to popularize it as much as possible in the country and abroad. For me, the project Kazakhstan Barisi is not just sports. It's a patriotic sport that unites the people. My dream is that we have someone like Haji Mukan and Balwan Sholak, batters who weighed 200 kilograms, who would represent Kazakh heroes. I think that with this project, we give a multiplier effect to all kinds of wrestling, including Olympic sports. And now there are a lot of kids who are involved in this wrestling. Due to our project, I think soon we will have world champions and Olympic champions in absolute weight categories. That hasn't happened in the history of Kazakhs since the time of Hajimu Khan. Hajimu Khan Munait Pasa, Kazakh wrestler, multiple world champion in Greco-Roman wrestling, world champion in French wrestling. Ulan Riskul has a lot of achievements. In addition to the title of the first champion of Kazakhstan Barisi, he is a multiple champion of Kazakhstan and prize winner of the Judo World Championships. But today, he cares more about youth and the promotion of the Kazakh wrestling abroad. According to Ulan, the geography of the contracts of the International Federation of National Wrestling is grown every year and extends from China to Europe. And sometimes, athletes from 40 countries of the world take part in the Kazakh wrestling championships. At the last world competition in 2017, the Kazakh wrestlers managed to win six gold medals and one bronze. In the I cannot say that I stopped wrestling, but now I'm working. A lot of work in the Federation. Since it is an international organization, we actively cooperate with other countries. Now Kazakh wrestling federations are opening up in different countries. And, uh, Many are wondering why I preferred office work, why I do not continue wrestling in various championships. On the one hand, there are injuries. People do not understand this. They think that if you are an athlete, you must always keep winning. But I'm not as young as I used to be. I started trainings when I was 12 years old. 
In Kapchiga, I tried myself for the first time in the Kazakh wrestling. In 1999, I moved to Almaty, where I entered a sports boarding school for gifted children. My first coaches were Sadek Mustafaev and Samad Jokibai. Now there are different competitions with prizes like cars. Personally, I managed to win about 20 cars. And there are wrestlers who have even more prizes. For example, my colleague and friend Bebit Istibai won 35 cars. Where are you? I'm at the monument of Kurmanjandaka. I'm here too, but I cannot see you. Go down a bit. I'm sitting on a bench. Ah, I see, I see. Hello. This is my close friend, Aida Akhmatova. She's just like me. She loves sports. We can say that it was sports that united us. <laughs> This is a monument to one of the great Kyrgyz women, Kurmanjan Datka. Just like her, I would like to be a part of the history of my people. Mariam's friend Aida comes from a family of hereditary artists. Her performance in a circus is very unusual and she managed to show it to half of Europe. She has time to play part in historical films, half of which was filmed by foreign filmmakers. In fact, Mariam is a very determined person with a strong character. If she sets a goal, she reaches it, for sure. I am engaged in unusual sport, traditional archery. Also, I practice in unusual archery. Many people are surprised, of course, how I shoot like that while standing on my own arms. I pull the bowstring with my toes. I shoot with my legs, so to speak. Many girls shoot with their eyes. I use feet. I love Kazakhstan very much. The audience is very warm and welcoming. Today, Mary Mamunova is preparing for the next Asian Games that will be held in Indonesia in 2018. The nearest goals are participation in the World Championship and in the Third World Games of Nomads. Therefore, in addition to morning training, she goes on tatami almost every evening. The first coach brought me here. These walls remember how much effort was put on the way to victory, how I sweated during my trainings. Since 2015, I switched to Alish wrestling. The Kyrgyz people remember a lot of brave women who left the mark in history. I also want to stay in the people's memory. Of course, I consider myself as a happy person. Every training for me is a great happiness. There, I feel like a different person. The champion of Kazakhstan, Asia and the world, Yerlan Yestek, has been engaged in the Kazakh wrestling for more than a quarter of a century. In 2017, he became the senior coach of Kazakhstan. The International Federation for Kazakh Wrestling has opened not so long ago. But for a short time, we managed to host the World Cup. In general, Kazakh wrestling is developing not only here, but also in other countries. Georgian and Uzbek wrestlers also show good results. For example, a Cuban wrestler named Brisson won in the Kazakh wrestling world championship. Cuban wrestlers are very well prepared. Ulan Riskol, together with his sports colleagues, spends a lot of time with the development of the people's wrestling. In the evenings, he often goes to the tatami and teaches young wrestlers. All of them, older and very young wrestlers, are united by a passion for the ancient and beautiful wrestling, which has been preserved in the Kazakh steppe since ancient times. 
As you can see, I came to a training session for Kazakh wrestling. I will share my experience with the youth.